About 500 local business leaders today heard a talk from Mayor Curry during a virtual meeting with the Chamber of Commerce. The mayor outlined, the mayor outlined what's ahead. I'm sorry, Mary, go ahead. <laughs> the mayor outlined what's ahead and when he believes the city will be able to get back to work. He also fielded questions from business leaders who were looking to the city for help. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller was at the meeting virtually. She's joining us live. Brittany. Mary, Tom, this might be the new normal for a while, but the mayor is telling businesses that the city is looking ahead. Mayor Curry held a virtual seminar today with the Chamber of Commerce and the head of ViStar Credit Union. He answered questions about how the city plans to help businesses. We're seeing hints and signs maybe sometime in early May, but I will say this uh, about Jacksonville. Like we've done on this uh, getting playing cash quickly to businesses, as we come out of this, I've already tasked my team with getting with healthcare experts to start thinking about uh, if there's another wave of this, uh, and if not this, something else that's similar to this, that could shut things down for weeks. And how do we come up with uh, the ability to test rapidly and the ability to trace those that test positive to who they've been around and isolate them quickly so that even if those around us are in full shutdown mode. The hope is that we can plan to operate with some sense of normalcy. But most of his comments were about what's next for Jacksonville after the pandemic. And his goal is on getting us through a second wave if it comes. We're gonna take a hit on property taxes, sales tax, bed tax. Uh, is budgets, the next budget is gonna be difficult. And my guess is the next couple of budgets are gonna be difficult. Uh, but we'll work through them. Mayor Curry says 500 businesses have already applied for the business loan program. Vistar is beginning to process those applications. The $26 million for the business loans is coming out of the city's reserves. Curry says the reserves are strong, and that's good because of what's coming. Right now, there is no talk of a property tax hike. Reporting live this morning from downtown Jacksonville, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.